ridiculous. It's got to stop. They got to find who's doing it. Four threats in three days at the same school. Parents and students alike exasperated. The reason deputies say technology is working against them in this investigation. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameis Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. There have been bomb threats every single day this week at Central High School in Brooksville. And today, students had to evacuate from the building twice. Unbelievable here. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane has spent the last two days covering this story. She pressed the Hernando Sheriff about why the county's emergency management system is having so much trouble tracking the call. Four calls in three days here at Central High School evacuating the entire school and the sheriff tells us the calls are coming in through dispatch. Early this morning, a bomb threat called into Central High School for the third day in a row. It was very nerve wracking. We were there after classes resumed as frustrated parents went to the school to take their kids home. I just feel safer for him to be home. Because deputies were already at the school investigating the two previous bomb threats, the third search was shorter. Then a couple of hours later, they were basically put on another lockdown the second for today. So he was really scared. He said, please come get me. A fourth bomb threat called in, evacuating and putting the school on lockdown yet again, angering parents and students. A lot of them are mad. They don't see a point on why they're doing it or who's doing it, but we just want it to be over with so we can get back to the classroom. The sheriff says the threatening calls are coming into the sheriff's office through 911 or the non-emergency line, but they're having trouble tracing the caller. Technology can be a tremendous help in these situations. It can also be a little bit of a burden. It can slow us down a little bit. Uh, we're reaching out to our partners both at the state level and the federal level to see if they can give us any investigative assistance. The sheriff says this is also an active investigation, so he's not going to publicize what the problem is, but he insists the students are safe. Are you going to send the kids to school tomorrow? Nope, not for the rest of the week. Uh, no, they won't go until they catch whoever it is. In Hernando County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.